What is going on guys, Audrub here, and today we are talking about scripting in Halo 5. Now you can use this to make objects move and despawn and respawn and all sorts of different things using channels and terminals and even just through uh, the duration of the game when round starts and all sorts of things. So that is what we are just going to be getting into today and I'm going to explain how they work. So you can script uh, pretty much any objects, I think, in Halo 5 Guardians. So we're just going to do it on this block here. You go up to one and you want to press X. You go to Object Properties. And then you go all the way down to the bottom and you will see Scripting. We're then going to add a script. And you will see there are all sorts of conditions. So I'm just going to kind of put these out so you can see here. But um, basically, something has to... Uh, be met so the condition something has to happen for for a reaction to happen in the object so um, whether it be on spawn something is going to happen like it could despawn reset uh, send a message or or move or rotate or or change color all sorts of things so that's on spawn or when it's destroyed on message received if it's on the same channel as something that you uh, that you use like a terminal or switch and then um, when it's um, being powered on or after a certain amount of time um, when the match starts when a round starts so each time there's a new round this thing will start to happen so if you wanted a block to slowly start to fall down a maze or something so you had to keep running or something I don't know so you'll eventually get grilled I don't know you can do all sorts of crazy stuff with it um, and you can also do um, have messages sent to it to have all sorts of different things triggered as well so what we're gonna change this to here is on message received because we're gonna be working with the terminals and we are gonna change the channel to Delta because I actually have the other channels used and what the action is going to be is we are going to make this one move. So we are going to set the action to move offset. And then we will make this move forward here. I believe, I think we're going forward. I'm going to make it do the same thing as the object right beside it. So we will come over here and check this object out. Again, we're going to go to the scripts. I've already added one script here that you can see on message received on Delta, the same channel. We have action move offset. OK, we so we're going to be going the other way. I'll just switch this one over to the same as the other one. Because something else that you can also do is affect that the amount of time that it takes for the thing to move. So, for example, the other one, it's normally set at one. I set this one to five. So when we uh, when we activate it on this, this um, with the switch here, this will move a lot quicker than this one does, hopefully, if everything goes as planned. So then we come over to our switch, and it's the same thing again. We are going to go into scripting, and we are going to add a new script. Um, the condition for this one, however, will be on interaction. So when we go up to that and we hold X to interact with it, it will send our message to anything that is on the same... Um, the same... Um, uh, wavelength that's on the same channel so um on interaction it is going to send a message to the channel Delta so we set the other ones to uh, to their condition to message received so when they receive this message they will do their action which is moving so now it should be all work if we can put it into practice they should move forward I'm not sure which way that's gonna go if it's gonna go towards me or the opposite direction and we'll hold X here, and we can see this one, they're moving over 10 units. That one did it in one second, and this one is doing it in five, so it went a bit slower. Like I said, though, there's all sorts of things that you can make objects do. So, for example, here, we will go back into the script again. This one is going to be on the channel Charlie, because we have to use a different channel than the one we are going to, than the other one that we used, because it is in the same world. And, um, again, the same thing on message received, except this time we are going to despawn. So then, again, we, we can have TV monitors change and stuff too. I, I tried it with this, but it doesn't seem to look too much different afterwards. But I can prove that it does work, um, because we'll see that the primary colors here are white. So then we will go to the script, and on, um, on message received on the channel Charlie, the action is going to be to change the color to blue. So we'll see how that works. And again, we will come to our switch. And um, on interaction, it is going to send the message to the channel Charlie. 
So that should work with all these. If we put it into practice, hopefully this works. And you can see the block has despawned. And this it has a slight blue tinge. You can see that, right? You guys can see that. It's, it's a little bit blue. But if you don't believe me, just in case you don't believe me, here we can now see that the primary colors have been changed to blue. So using this you can do all sorts of cool things, make all sorts of game types or anything like that, mini games. When you're working with these two, you want to remember to uh, lock these when you're not using them because sometimes when you change anything, they will go back to wherever you spawned them into the map originally. So, I don't know, it, it can get annoying. So when you're just done working with them, you want to uh, make sure that they are locked so that they're not going to move around if you mess with them or change the script or anything like that. You can also do really cool things like make working doors. To do that, uh, all you need to do is add two scripts to the object. One to uh, one to move it in one direction, so you can see here it's horizontally moving, minus 25, and then another script to move it back. So they are both going to be on different channels so that uh, two different terminals can, two different switches, sorry, can send them two different messages. And uh, it works just as uh, as easy as you'd think. You use one terminal, one switch, sorry, and it moved the object in one direction and you use the other one and it will move it back. So pretty cool. You could do this on the opposite side too so that uh, you could set that to have four channels say so on the opposite side. It will move it back and forth as well. But that is pretty much it, guys. I hope you uh, get a good solid understanding of how the scripts work in Halo 5 Forge now and you can make some really cool things with it. So uh, that is all. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We will see you in the next video.